Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Falls Long Guide called All Round Drifter. Now this one wants you to use the 2000 Nissan Silvia Spec R also known as the Silvia S15 to complete all the challenges with. So without further ado let's get stuck in and take a look at the car we will be using. So this is the 2000 Silvia Spec R, it will set you back 35,000 credits or of course you can probably pick one up cheaper in the auction house as well. Now I have created a tune for you guys to use, it's called Forzathon, share code is 484-864-523 and it's primarily set up to help out with the drifting portions of this challenge. I have, of course, <laughs> created Han's uh, S15 livery, it's called that and it's also available for download, share code is 478-088-271, that's if you want to use it, but of course don't have to. Now the first challenge here just wants you to win a street race. So to do that I recommend heading over to the Castillo del Mar street race which is located in the bottom portion of the map. Now as usual I've created a race for you guys to use, it's called Forza Don Easy, share code is 964-550-395 and this is just a simple street race with no AI driver tasks so you'll win every single time and it should only take you about two and a half minutes with this tune on so really quite a quick first challenge there and nice and easy. Now the next challenge here again is quite simple, it just wants you to earn 5 ultimate drift skills which again is really really quite easy to do. Now normally for a challenge like this you'll probably head onto some windy road or something like that but the easiest way I'd recommend doing it is on a roundabout like this one which is again located near the bottom of the map. Now it says drift skills so I assume that can mean normal drift skills or e-drift which is where you obviously use the handbrake to get your drift skill um, but as you can see here going around this roundabout you'll pick up the ultimate drift skill in a matter of seconds and I'm just letting this video play out at full speed just to show you how quick it is to actually complete this challenge. You'll only end up doing about two or three full loops of the roundabout but at this point I'm already on my third ultimate drift skill and it's probably only about 30 seconds in if that. Um, like I said you could probably do the e-drift skill as well if you want but you don't really need to uh, on this roundabout using this car in tune. And also you can probably do this with a stock car but it just might take a little bit longer or be a bit slower but really nice easy challenge there. Now the last one here, again super easy, just wants you to earn 5 stars at Drift Zones. So I recommend heading over to the Gyro and Cavado Drift Zone which is located by the Main Horizon Festival. So obviously you only need to get a 3 star and a 2 star, but the 3 star score on here is super low, it's only 30,000 points and 2 star on here is only 15,000 points. So again a really nice easy challenge to finish off with here. Like I said you only need to get 2 stars on one run and 3 stars on the other, but it's really easy to get 3 stars on a run anyway so I wouldn't worry too much about that. You can use any drift zone of course though, but like I said, this is probably the shortest one and the lowest to get three stars on as well. Now if you are of course struggling with any of the challenges, then please do let me know down below in the comments. I'm more than happy to try my very best to help you guys out. I know previously a lot of people seem to be struggling with challenges because of general glitches, um, so the challenge won't register when you're in the car, etc. For that, there's not too much that can be done apart from sort of restarting your Xbox in the game, etc. But besides from that, it's a bit of a tricky one unfortunately but either way please do let me know if you're having any issues and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. Also don't forget to stick around because coming up next will be the photo challenge guide for this week. Um, but apart from that I want to say a massive thank you. If you're new to the channel and the video did help you out subscribing massively helps me out and also if it helped dropping a like is very much appreciated. But apart from that folks I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.